The second step of the serve progressions is to start with your racket back and your body sideways. So what I've done, I'm shadowing the motion first, is I position myself sideways and the racket is pointed straight back at the fence, but my racket, my arm position is still the same. It's in the same position it will be in at contact. And what I'm going to do is rotate my body around to face the net. And you can see when I do that, if we freeze it here, my racket and arm position is the same it was in in the previous video at contact. So there's no change there. Now if we rewind it to my racket back position, because I'm sideways, when I turn my body back towards the net, I need to get the heel of my back foot up because that allows me to turn my body correctly. And finally, from, from contact, I'm going to follow through just like I did in the previous step. I'm just going to extend out and then catch it with my other hand. And again, catching it is going to allow me, it's going to ensure that I follow through correctly. Once you master the shadowing from the racket back position, then you can actually try and hit the tennis ball. So what I'm going to do when I try and hit is just keep the motion as simple as possible. I'm going to turn into the ball. My racket and my hitting arm position is going to stay exactly the same from the racket back position to contact and then into the follow through where I catch it with my other hand once I follow through. Now from the back angle, you'll notice that when I turn my body back towards the net, my back heel's coming up and again that's going to let me rotate more effectively than if I left that foot on the ground. And then I follow through into the court. And you can see I'm not really hitting the tennis ball that hard. I'm just really, really, really trying to work the technique. So you want to do this very slowly, very deliberately, and make sure that you're covering all the basics when you're first hitting the shot.